Hey, what's up everyone? This is Ed with edhard.me and I'm going to show you how to make comic text bubbles in Illustrator. Uh, you saw these if you looked at my video on how to make funny Instagram pictures with Adobe Comp on your iPhone. And uh, if you haven't seen that, head over to my video channel and check it out. So making comic text bubbles is really easy in Illustrator and I'm going to show you how to do that. So let me just start with a, we'll do a round one. So I'm going to use my ellipse tool, I'm come out here and hold my option key down and get about in the middle and create myself a text bubble. And what I need to do is put a little pointer on it so that it points down to wherever my character is going to be talking. So I'm going to grab my pen tool and let's see, maybe point uh, this, this direction. So I'll create a line here and I'll just intersect that with the, uh, with the path on the bigger uh, text bubble. So now I really have two objects. I've got this this first path um, and I got this second path and the uh, way to get rid of this little line right here is to select both items by holding my shift and grabbing both of them and opening up this Pathfinder tool. If you can't find that just come to your window and scroll down and make sure your Pathfinder is clicked and use the Unite icon. So I'll click that and there you can see we've got a text bubble. Now the thing I don't like about this is look at that. There's some little, let me zoom in on this here. There are some little areas on the angles or on the at the joints where it just doesn't look right and we can fix this easily. So I'm going to click on the uh, path. I'm going to come up here and select the stroke tool and there's a couple different things I could do. I could go to the corners and instead of having the corners have that uh, uh, edge, I could sort of make them rounded and that helps a little bit. But if I zoom in, you can see it, it kind of adds a little bit of a, a bump right there and right there. And I also have a, a round uh, pointer and that might work fine for the look that I'm going for. But another way to fix that problem is to align your stroke to the outside of your path. So if I click that and I take off this rounded corner, I now have a pointed uh, pointer. And if I just come back out, you can see that uh, that may be, that's more of the look I'm looking for, but you know, everybody wants to do their own a little bit different. Let's say I want to point that uh, uh, the, the uh, text bubble point in a little bit of a different direction. I can use my direct select tool and I can click on that particular anchor and I can just sort of move it around. So maybe I want it pointing that direction or maybe I want it pointing that direction or maybe I want it really long or maybe I want it really short. So that is how you make a text bubble and the other thing I need to say is if I click on my object here, uh, note that I do have the fill white and the stroke uh, black. So that way if I save this and I, and I use it in some other application, I don't just get just the stroke with everything else transparent. I get the, the uh, fill in the middle. So let me also show you quickly how to do a thought bubble. And I'll just open up a new uh, Illustrator document. And this time, I'm still going to select my ellipse tool, hold down the command and open it up big. But this time I want it to have, uh, I want it to be like a little cloud uh, thought looking thing. So I'm going to grab my pen tool and I'm just going to add a couple of additional anchor points. I'm going to add one here, let's see one here, maybe stick one in the middle, add a couple over here. I don't want to get too many of these, but uh, put one right there. And now I can use this effect called Pucker and Bloat. And if I do that, I'll pull up a window. I'm going to select Preview. And if I move the, the bloat, or if I just increase the bloat percentage just a little bit, you can see I'm starting to create a the, that little cloud that uh, usually represents a thought when you're creating a comic. And so that's pretty cool. Um, I could do that and then just create a couple more uh, little little uh, make
make my, my pointer just a couple of those little uh, those little guys. So there you go. And uh, let's say that I wanted to have a kind of an ex ex exclamation. So um, instead of using the pucker and bloat uh, tool to bloat my um, object, actually let me go in here and pull that back up. I can actually go down and pucker it in a little bit and so if I go like that check that out that so I could say pow or bam or splat so that is how I would make a uh, uh, couple of different variations of comic text boxes uh, with Illustrator and um, if you want to do a rectangle your rectangular one you can use a rectangle tool or the rounded rectangular tool it's uh, all the same process so enjoy that and uh, just go make your own instead of trying to find one on the internet and figure out how to cut and paste it because they're really easy to make if you got illustrator